This is the Bowers Group USS-22 suppressor. It is a rimfire can capable of sustaining some serious abuse and still sound great. The question that I have, is it any good? Let's dive into it after this. TA Targets offers some of the most innovative and robust target systems money can buy. Featuring AR-550 steel and forward-thinking build quality, these targets are built to last. Whether you're blasting every day or plinking on the weekends, TA Targets has something for everyone. To get 10% off of anything you order, use the code TGC10 over at TacticalAR500Targets.com. At first glance, the USS-22 is a bit plain. There's no fancy texture or crazy mounting systems or operation-specific end caps. It's just a simple rimfire suppressor, but that's kind of the MO for Bowers Group as a whole. They keep things simple, but effective. In order to find out if the USS-22 is effective, we had to first get some baselines. So let's listen to what our demo guns sound like without a can. First is a TCR-22 that was tricked out by House of Arms. Next, we have a Taurus TX-22. And finally, the Savage Mark II FVSR bolt action. If I could describe how goopy this is. Pretty straightforward. Now let's dive into how the can performs on the various guns. We'll start with the TCR-22. Now keep in mind, this is sort of the worst case scenario for a 22 can. Supersonic velocities are common from a barrel this length. Sometimes that's ideal. And then you have the action noise from the semi-auto. So this isn't going to be the quietest setup, but let's see just how good it does or does not sound. We started with federal bulk pack ammo with a velocity of about 1200 feet per second. As you can tell, it's easily supersonic, but the can seems to do a decent job knocking down the noise a peg to a point where you can clearly hear the steel in the background and the dirt hits. Next, we tried some CCI standard velocity, my gold standard for silencer testing. This made a world of difference. The velocity is under 1100 feet per second and at our testing facility, it was definitely subsonic and therefore a lot quieter than that bulk pack stuff. Ready? Yep. So different. That's way quieter. Let's hear it on steel. This is where a rimfire can kind of comes alive in my opinion. What you end up hearing is more of the trigger reset and action noise than the rounds leaving the gun. Of course, we also tried some CCI quiet, which is stepped down to 750 feet per second. And although it wouldn't run the gun, it is hilariously quiet. <laughs> That's hilariously quiet. And because somebody's gonna ask at some point in the video, we don't have any of the CCI quiet that's meant for semi-autos on hand. Okay, let's keep it moving to the Taurus TX-22. This test was interesting for us. For one, we got to bring out our new favorite 22 pistol, see our review linked somewhere in the description or up in the corner, whatever. And then we also found out that the bulk pack stuff didn't have enough barrel length to get up to full velocity. So it sounded really good and ran the TX-22 reliably as well. The CCI standard velocity didn't really sound much different to me, to be honest. It also did a decent job running the gun. So those two kind of worked well. The CCI Quiets, again, wouldn't cycle the semi-auto action, as we knew it wouldn't, and it sounded ultra quiet. Now, 
On to the bolt gun, the best possible scenario for this type of test. We get full velocity out of the various test ammos, and because there is no semi-auto action, we get a better chance to hear what the can is doing for us by itself. Take care to listen really closely here, especially the background noises versus the actual sound of our shooting. In the dirt? Yep. Definitely supersonic. Definitely need to clean the gun. All right, let's see if we can get a piece of steel with it. It's almost indistinguishable. Back in the dirt. That was loud. Another piece of steel. Last one. With the bulk pack, we can hear the crack of the supersonic bullet, but we also hear that familiar tone with good suppression. Remember, the other shots that you're hearing were from a range about 100 yards from us. Now, the CCI standard velocity. This is easily my favorite setup overall. Good velocity for plinking or clearing out pests around the yard if you need to, but also very quiet as well. This can really does a good job on this setup. It's very like almost ideal in this setup. If you listen closely, you can hear the sound of the firing pin. Okay, so these are the standard velocity. In the what, you mean you don't want to shoot at the same time when we're doing a suppressor test? I don't. <laughs> Here we go. That's quiet. There's a piece of steel. Context, I mean, you can hear how loud those are. They're just trying to help us out. Yeah, that's, that's what they're doing. I mean, good for them for training. This, this is like the gnarliest setup. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how do you not laugh at that? Piece of steel. And of course, the CCI quiet is again, hilariously quiet, but I prefer the standards over these because the bullet drop is pretty substantial at the much lower velocity with a similar bullet. And I prefer something that shoots a little flatter. So I'll give up a little bit of sound in this scenario for a little bit more velocity and a better trajectory. So in the gun, we have CCI quiet. These are 750 feet per second. You'll get some context. Those guys are the next range over, probably about 100 yards from us. Uh, this will be very quiet because there is no action noise or anything. It's going to be just the gun. Here we go. You can hear the firing pin. Here's a piece on steel. Another one on steel. Back in the dirt. That's it. <laughs> I love that. Sounds like a, uh, sounds like somebody flicking a piece of rubber when it hits the dirt. I mean, it's quieter than a pellet gun for sure. All in all, the USS-22 does a fantastic job on all of these setups. That's a good thing. I have shot plenty of 22 cans and it's right on par with some of the stuff from the really huge brands. Like it's right up there near the top. Not only that, but it's also user serviceable, which is why it's called the user serviceable silencer or USS. That's where the name comes from. That's a big deal when you're dealing with dirty rimfire ammo. I said in the opening that this thing can handle some serious abuse and that's because it's full auto rated and it's rated for everything from 17 HMR, 22 mag, 
regular 22, of course, and all the way up to 5.7 by 28. This thing is a workhorse can. That's the way I feel about it. Now, the price reflects that at the MSRP of 495 bucks, but the value is definitely there if you ask me. I'm curious to hear what Rimfire can is your favorite. I know everybody has their own favorite, and I also want to know what you guys think of this Bauer setup. Let me know in the comments what's going on in your mind. And if you guys enjoyed this and you want to see more silencer videos, be sure to hit the like button to let the algorithm know. And of course, if you want to see more stuff from us here at The Gun Collector, be sure to get subscribed and hit the notification button. And as always, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon. Hello, helicopter. Thanks for messing up the shot. Bye. Sup? Sup? <laughs> Pew! Pew! Those are the Hollywood silencer noises. I'm good at this.